Upon the grassy knoll lived a widow whose laughter echoed deep into the dawn. Nobody asked any questions when they found her mister in the pond. His skin it was bubbling and burned. The insects were taking their turns. The old lady looked in the mirror and kept on laughing. On the grassy knoll lived the baker and his wife. He'd come home late when the bars closed and have his way. Then in the fall, when they were grinding grain, his lace got caught in the rollers and took his leg. His wife could have shot it off sooner, or she could have let it run, but was so from the night before when he'd had his fun. The litigation would never fly. He had it coming like the blink of an eye. The disturbing look on both women's faces was so unearthly that the clothes Grassy knoll lay some children on a picnic who'd heard the story of the laughing lady years before. The old house was boarded and locked, so the kids broke in with a rock, proceeding to search as the floorboards creak below. One boy hit to scare his friends, and when he jumped up, made the floorboards bend. They fell three stories, two died, and one may mend. Grassy Knoll lived the widow who played the people like puppets on a string. She could make them love or fall, she could make them build a wall or a staircase going nowhere. Nobody asked any questions, not like they had a choice, for she was a love and the lost in the light. And their voice. Even long after she died, the people were guided inside by a feeling of flawless logic in their ways. Only their children could see what was like a disease, a dogma of sorts offset from the world by degrees. On the grassy knoll lived the widow. Playing on people like puppets on a string. She could make them love or fall. She could make them build a wall or a staircase going nowhere. Nobody asked any questions. Not like they had a choice. For she was a love and the lost in the lies and their voice. She was. She was the love and the lust and the lie.